Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about how ticks attach to their hosts. Now, ticks are creatures that are related to spiders. They have six legs when they're juvenile and eight legs when they're adults. But unlike spiders, a tick's meal is your blood. So how is a tick going to get that meal? The first thing to know is that ticks don't have wings. They don't fly. They don't jump. They don't drop from trees. They actually have to brush up against you and attach usually to your legs or whatever other part of your body happens to be convenient. So places where there's brush and tall grass are the places where you're most likely to encounter a tick. Once a tick senses through heat or carbon dioxide that a host is near, then they'll wait for the right moment to jump onto you and crawl to someplace warm, and then sink, that's right, they're like spiders, two little fangs into your flesh. And these are just like little syringes designed to suck out blood. The key to know is that these mouth parts bend up underneath the tick's body. So the tick is sitting there with these little two things embedded in the skin. Now another thing that they do is use their saliva to generate a sort of little cement to hold them on and they grab on with those legs. So it's not terribly easy to get ticks off. Knowing how a tick attaches, however, lets you know the right way to get a tick off. What you don't want to do is pull the body straight out. That's going to leave these little fangs right there inside the skin where they can cause a reaction or an infection. The other thing you don't want to do is squeeze the tick's abdomen trying to get it off because that tick has now gotten a blood meal. That blood is mixed with the tick's saliva and any disease infectious organisms the tick might be carrying like Lyme or Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. And if you squeeze the belly, you're going to shoot that blood back in. You don't want to do that, right? So what you want to do is kind of try and slide something like tweezers up under the tick and flip the tick over on his or her back and then pull up maybe just a little bit of an angle or maybe straight up and try as best you can to get those two mouth parts to come up with the tick. If you see the head and the mouth parts of the tick and no little black dots left, you'll know that you've been successful. If you do see them left, don't get too worried about it. Put on some antibiotic ointment and keep an eye on the area. If you see redness, swelling, or pus, you definitely want to consult a doctor. The other thing to look out for is the target lesion that is the sign of Lyme disease. If you see rings of red and then lighter skin, that is a marker for Lyme disease and you really need to seek care for yourself or whoever has that as soon as possible. Talking about how ticks attach, I'm Dr. David Hill.